So my priorities for uh, the London mayoralty, if I become mayor, there's three things that need to be done. We need to end politically correct policing. Crime has gone through the roof uh, over the last four years. It's spiralled out of control, particularly violent crime. The police needs to be refocused. The job of the police is to catch criminals, catch murderers, catch rapists, catch arsonists, thieves, thugs, vandals. It's not to patrol jokes on the internet and politically correct opinions and arrest people for not agreeing with you if you're the mayor. That's what's happened and we need to stop that. It's not about hassling people if they're not wearing a mask or closing down a business or giving them a fine if they're serving a burger at 10 past 10. I mean, that's ridiculous use of police time and resources. So we need to get the police refocused on their proper job. Second thing is, we need to let, get London moving again because the Tory government, the Labour mayor, have been working in lockstep together to make all kinds of obstacles on the road. You've got pop-up bicycle lanes, you've got these so-called low traffic neighbourhoods where there's blockages everywhere. People just can't move around in their vehicles in London anymore. That is really harmful to businesses. It's also stopping emergency vehicles from getting where they want to go more seriously. So we need to unblock London's roads. The other thing, the third thing we need to do is open up the businesses again. Uh, I can't believe at the moment we've got a London mayor, Sadiq Khan, who's calling for a circuit breaker lockdown two weeks, which will probably extend for months and months. You know, two weeks isn't going to be two weeks. Everybody knows that. We need to get London, uh, London's businesses open. Um, you know, theatres and music venues have been closed since March. Some of them just aren't going to open again. Uh, this is a tragedy. The soul has been ripped out of London. Not just London, other cities as well, but, but particularly the, the West End, which is world-renowned theatre place. And all the businesses that rely on the theatre trade, we need to get the businesses open again.